Hey Grad Fam, welcome back guys. Today's another beautiful day here. It's nice enough for us to all go outside, so we're gonna treat the kids and take them to the outdoor mall. Yeah, and later I'm going to tell you guys why I might be giving birth in a few weeks. You guys might be meeting the triplets in a few weeks. It's pretty exciting. So stay tuned guys. Hey baby. Oh, you still tired? Oh, she slept the whole way here. Hi. Amelia. Say hi, Grad fam. Amelia, turn around. Say hi, Grad fam. Say hi, Grad fam. Cutie. Shy. Mmm, uh, uh, good. <laughs> What's wrong, baby? Do you want some too, big boy? Do you want some? Yeah, probably. I'm gonna chew it for you, baby. No? That's good. Wanna try? You like it? Don't worry, you're next, big boy. You're next. Appa. You want Appa? Oh yeah, you know where it is. You know where it is. Do you guys vlog? Mama, what cheese? Cream cheese with pretzel? Yeah. You like it, baby? Yummy? She's acting so shy. Because <laughs> she just woke up from her nap. Yeah. Say hi, Grad fam. Say hi, Grad fam. No. Slide. Slide? You want to go on the slide? Yeah. Aw, you look so cute. You look so pretty. Pretty girl. Honey. Hey. Hi. Want a pretzel bite? Baby, come on. Oh, baby, did you have fun? <laughs> Amelia. Is it getting cold? Is it getting cold, baby? You want to go back in the car? Yeah, let's go back in the car. 
Hey guys, am I giving birth in a few weeks? Possibly. I honestly could be. Last week I went in for an ultrasound and I, which I was I was 23 weeks last week. Now I'm 24 weeks along with triplets. And um, they measured all three babies. Baby A is a pound and one ounce. Baby B is a pound and two ounces, and baby C is a pound and three ounces. The reason why I could be giving birth in a few weeks is because baby A's abdominal area is more small than baby B and baby C's abdominal area. One baby is not taking more blood from the other baby, so that's a really good thing. They're all getting enough blood. They're just sharing all the, they're all sharing the same nutrition from the same placenta. So that's why baby A's abdominal area is a bit more small since baby B and baby C are probably most likely taking more nutrition than baby A is getting. So last week when I went in, after I was told this, my doctor told me that if it continues like this and baby A continues not to grow as big as baby B and baby C, that the babies might have to be taken out within a few weeks. And I'm only 24 weeks right now. And just thinking about me, like just giving birth in a few weeks scares me because I'm only like a little over five months. They're gonna be like six months, I'm gonna be only six months when the babies, if I were to give birth in a few weeks, which is pretty scary. Um, there's so much to prepare. Um, we're trying to have everything ready, like by the end of April, just in case. Um, we actually bought a lot of things already. The triplet banker was a big help. Uh, thank you for, thank you to everyone who showed up. Thank you for all the gifts and thank you to everyone who took part in the baby registry as well. Thank you guys so much, we really appreciate it. It was a big help. And for now, there's like a bunch of baby stuff all over the place. Since we're still living at my parents' house. Um, so it's a little hard. It's gonna be really squishy here with the triplets. We really want a house, but we don't know when it will happen. We're hoping this year. But for now, we're here and we're gonna have to try and make it work with the triplets for now. So, yeah. But anyway, I don't want to get off topic. Um, since baby A's abdominal area is more small, the doctor rec recommended me to get a beta methasone shot. I'm, I, I think I pronounced that right. I'm not sure. <laughs> but um, he recommended me to get that shot. And it's basically a steroid, a steroid to help the baby's lungs mature faster in case they need to be taken out sooner so they can breathe better once they're out. They're gonna be premature either way. My doctor said he would love for me to make it to 33 weeks and up. Like he really wishes I could. It just depends on the babies and how they all grow if I can make it that far, if they can make it that far. So I got a shot. Right after the ultrasound, they gave me a beta methasone shot. And then right the next day, I had to go back again and get a second shot. And then this week, I went again for an appointment, which I am 24 weeks now and a few days. And I had to get the shot again. Um, first appointment, got the shot again right after my appointment. And then the second day, I had to go back again and to get the second shot. So, so far I got four shots and a beta methasone to help the baby's lungs mature and develop faster. Just in case they might be taken out, they might be coming out in a few weeks or a month or a month and a half. He said the most I can probably make it is like another two months, maybe to the end of May. But that all depends on the babies. So we don't know yet for sure if I can make it to the end of May. That was the plan from the beginning. 
But for now, I just want to ask you guys all to pray that baby A continues to grow just as big and healthy as baby B and baby C. All three girls are still growing though. And uh, I can show you guys my bump. It's getting really big. I feel huge. Um, yeah. So for now, we're just trying to prepare everything for the triplets and have everything ready by the end of April, just in case these babies do come which I will be like 28 weeks around the end of April and I did want to make it at least up to 28 weeks and as of right now since I am 24 weeks of triplets um, my symptoms are basically I get a lot of heartburn I get a lot of sharp pain in my pelvic area under the belly um, everything just pushes up in my ribs. I can't eat that much because everything gets pushed up and I get a lot of heartburn all the time throughout the day, throughout the night. Um, I have to pee often, like all the time. And my lower back hurts from carrying so much weight. <laughs> and um, I get tired fast, out of breath fast. <sighs> I mean, I'm thankful everything is going great, but um, it is getting a lot harder the further I get, especially like when I walk or when I have to do things. Yeah. Oh, and I've been getting a lot of leg cramps and I know a lot of pregnant ladies get those throughout the night when they're sleeping and that is literally the worst time to get them. Like I'll be sleeping and out of nowhere i'll just get the worst leg cramp in, down in my calf and it hurts so bad and it lasts for like almost five minutes and it just <laughs> i literally hate them i hate them but there's nothing i can do i would get them with my other pregnancies as well with amelia and samuel i got them as well um even now like i'm having heartburn and i barely ate literally everything gets pushed up and it feels really uncomfortable when I like sit down because it just crushes all my ribs and everything here. Um, and so far I feel like I am already like eight, nine months pregnant. I feel like I am to the end. My doctor actually told me that I am looking like a 40 week pregnancy. Like he was like, wow, you're looking like you're 40 weeks and you're 24 with triplets, but it's expected, it's normal. There's three in there and they're growing, constantly growing. Every week my bump looks bigger, seriously. It's crazy, it's really crazy. Let's hope that I can hold these babies in at least till like May or middle of May. Let's hope and pray. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. We love you, Grad Fam. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.